welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time, screw these bandits. Because <laughs> literally, wow, you're way too far away, Mike. Because that took way too long to find the, them and kill them. This time, we'll find Ginger. This has been this is yeah. the third episode of this quest. And, uh, hopefully, we'll get it done here. I hope we not find anybody else. Apparently, Henry sucks at fighting. I need to get trained more. Actually, I just have that armor. I'm in good shape. And Henry's tired. What a surprise. And a little drunk. So I'll tell you exactly where he, the uh, kid is, and you better do that then. Just wander the woods forever. Yo, dude. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. I've taken care of those two cutthroats. You don't look like you've been in a fight. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. All right, all right. All that matters is they've been taken care of. They're dead. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? Ginger was here, but the lads hid him away somewhere. I suppose there's no need for that anymore. He's in no danger now, is he? And nor are we. That's right. You're safe now. All right. They're hiding him nearby. A little way along the route to Ujits, there's a path to the right leading to a spring. From there, you'll find an overgrown trail to a ruined hut. Finally, some useful information. Thank you, Charcoal Burner. Farewell. Yay! We can find him! Three people with pebbles. We never figured that out. Yeah! Alright, so he's up this direction. I wasn't even close when I was doing my, uh, book form without, without, yeah. trying to cheese the mission. I went north west, not north east. Uh, well, that, thankfully this is over, but we're probably gonna get yelled at, because that's how this game works. Time to die, Ginger. No, I'm joking. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run? Why did you run off in such a hurry? Be because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Actually... Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. What? what can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ujins, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The... They're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. All right. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait, what about me? Won't you help me out? Perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. 
Will you help me? Oh, they're dead. They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help, and God bless you. Well, that was easy. Wasn't that hard. Now... We have to go back to the stun farm. Where's the farm? All the way over here. Hey, good news is we get to finally use the fast travel. Thanks. So we're going to use the fast travel and hopefully not run into anybody. I feel like this is really slow. This is pretty slow. Oh, come on, horse. We don't need to fight humans. Yeah. Okay, that... See? Random encounters are... There's a quest there? It's kind of random. I'm not too worried about random quests at the moment, but, you know... I'm starting to think I should have done this on PC. Just how slow everything is and how easy your PC version is. Yay! We successfully ignored a random encounter. And we made it to Noi off. We had two random encounters. Okay, that's kind of random. You know, I probably should have just rode the horse there. That would have made a lot of sense. Oops. Oh well, let's go talk to Bernard. What are you doing here? He looks mad at me. Did I do it bad? Hi, Bernard. Well, well. Look who deigns to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy and... And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzi, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. Never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering, and it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. <laughs> and now, let's hear what you have to report. Wow. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it, then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, we may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Okay. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. 
As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Ooh. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well, as for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. Well, thank you. Now you know our side mission. But guess what we're not going to do? That side mission. At least not yet. We might need to do it later on. On some activities. I'm in a side quest. Any levels? No. <coughs> well... Radzig, what the heck are you doing here chilling? God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Then it breaks then. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujit, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujit's then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Ooh, I got money. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere, and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Got That's easy you. enough. Um, let's be honest. I know why they're doing it. But, I can't tell you that. We did get a level there, randomly. A main level, too. Oh. Well. Oh, we're not level 8 yet. We're level 6. We're going to be in the woods a lot, so let's be a savage. Yeah. And we'll go north to Noyon. Which, if you look at her map, that's the other button. What is that? Is this Bandit Camp? New DLC quest. Noyon is up that way, so it'll probably be easier if we fast travel to Tamburg. And then we will go from Tamburg to, um,. Bullets? I think it's called Ostrich. Actually, I will meet you in 
it's, it'll be a moment. And welcome to Ucht, northeast of Tallenberg, one of our places in the world that hates us. Uh, new town means new things you yeah. can do. So, this is a bigger, it's bigger than Noyop, obviously, yeah. but smaller than Rate. Yeah. Um, it has another yeah. church, but I don't think we've seen a church yet. So, up here is more farmlands, yeah. but down here is where we need to go. Okay, never mind, I know what I'm doing. I'm kinda ahead of the game. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. I have keys to Saint Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Oh, he did. Hey, Sakra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Rip Wimpy. That's weird. I wonder why he's dead. Who was Limpy Lubos? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Hmm. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Doesn't help. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. That's not good. I want to read. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Uschitz. He could teach you. Ooh. I don't know why that's an option here, but that's actually something I was looking for. An inscription in blood. Pity I don't know how to read. Hmm. <laughs> 
Looks like they wanted to give someone a warning. But who? And a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Lord at birth, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? God be with you. So not being able to read hurts. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's not good. That's all. Thank you. That's pretty useless. We need to read. How can we read? I think that's our priority right now. So let's go learn how to read. It feels funny saying that out loud, but reading back then was not common. Usually it was for nobility, nobility scrubs, and uh, the clerics. Oh, right, we can fast travel here anytime we want now. So we're gonna learn how to read, which I feel like is the best course of action, because A, we need more experience, and B, we need a nice stopping spot for this episode. Six one. Yes, reading is its own skill. It's actually helpful to ha learn to read. Because I think we have to. Wait. Where are you? Are you in here? There you is. Jesus Christ be praised. No, my name's Henry. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. Let's get started. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Fifty? Here are yeah, your that's a lot more money than I expected. Then we may as well start. If you did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his wife. Few days later. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. I should have showcased what it There's looks like if you table. don't know how to read. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple thing. Come back once you've worked your way through. So, you have dyslexia. Uh, one day, a countryman going to the nest of the ghost found there an egg all yellow and glittering. When he took it up as heavy as lead and was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had played upon him. But it took it... He took it... I have no idea what word that's going to be. On second thoughts and soon found the delight that the 
it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning, the same thing occurred, and he came rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, and grew to he going to think, uh, Gerson so he could have given life, he opened it. Reading's hard. <laughs> you have a master's, Jesus. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Someone has high hopes of Henry, that's a first. Yeah. Okay, I don't... Yeah, no. No, sir. I don't know what that says. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, oh, what's no. written there? That one. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus uh, ut non uh, liquere parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Hooray! Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. I didn't actually expect to do that right the first time. So, you new levels. Yay! Reading's the only other point in, and it's already level three. Um, so one thing that's cool about reading, you can, excuse me, buy books. They're expensive. So we're gonna grab the primer. And a lot of these books, um, fifty-four dollars. Come on, we're friends. We can do better than that. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not? So I think I paid you more to read than to haggle. Satisfied? Come now. Just a little Come more on. deal. All right. Well, that's a decent price. We want the reputation. So anytime we rest now, we can read. And when we read, we can um, but, oh, heal. Wait, you get them in your mouth. Come right up. Nobody likes that. Seriously, does anybody actually eat onions as a main thing? I like the flavor of onions, but I don't want to eat them. Alright, we're gonna go back to Because we gotta find somebody who's friends with. Actually, person I know who is friends with, but Henry doesn't have his friends with. 
coming at me, but I expect. <coughs> Judas. Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. No, it's not. But next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance, I just gained a level of something. But I you know, don't want drinking. Huh. Awesome. I will see you guys next time when we figure out who his friend is. <laughs>